Hey, welcome back to the King Dragon Kraken channel. Um, a quick no edit video. A... Sorry about that. A quick no edit video. I want to show you guys a quick video about a car chase, a police chase. Uh, they were chasing uh, what's what looks like a bus for workers, for um, like field workers, and a, a brand new RAV4 gray, which you can see right now, that car that's... um on the left side watch the video because this is very crazy and at the end you're gonna understand only one thing cartels this is it check this out this is this is real footage from a, a police in Tijuana this was in Tijuana check this out You can, you can see as he tells him, let us pass, please. The cop, the cop is telling the dude, let me pass, please. You can see through the window, the other guy does a gesture as us Mexicans think like, ah, la verde, you know, like, ah, who cares? F you guys. Like, I don't care. You can, you can tell how he does that with his head. Like, I'm going to reverse it a little bit back so you guys can see how he, how he doesn't care. Look, look, look. So you already crashed the car. They already crashed a, a patrol car. No, sí, sí, también, güey, estamos nosotros. No sé, güey, pero la neta, el vato está atravesado, güey, no nos quiere dejar pasar el vato. Hijo de su puta madre, de la Rafa, güey. Ya le hablo a Nevares, güey, pero, güey. Le pongo con este pendejo. Pues sí, güey, ponle cola a este hijo de su puta madre. You heard him right there? He said, um, the other guy that he's talking on the radio, I think he told him, have you called for backup? And the, the, the two police that are right that are in this uh, patrol car recording, you know what, I already called a lot of them, and they're not responding. So this police guy is calling for backup, but nobody's coming. So the guy that's recording is telling the driver of the patrol car, don't get in front of him, man. Don't get in front of him. Because these, these dudes might be drugged out or they're running away for like because of something. You know what I mean? Like they probably have drugs in their cars or they probably have drug in their in their in their bus because that's a bus. You know, it, it, it's to take workers to the field and stuff like that. So the RAV4, the one that's driving the RAV4 probably doesn't want them to stop the bus because they probably have illegal things in there, in there you know what I mean? I'm going to continue the video, but it, it gets interesting, trust me, this is crazy, this happened in Tijuana. So 
So right there, I don't know if it's the captain, but the captain tells the driver, hey, well, cut him off, cut him off, get in front of the bus. But as you can see, the bus is going fast, and it's a big bus. So if these guys get in, in front of it, they're likely to get rolled over or just simply crashed, like real messed up crash, because that's a big, it's, it's a bus. Oh my God. So 20 more seconds left and he keeps saying that they're not going to stop him and we're talking about the RAV4 now we're not talking about the bus no more the cops that are recording and saying you know what they're not going to they're not going to stop this guy bro we're calling in for backup you know it it, it, it would have been for like a bunch of cops to come out and help us because it's a car chase and you know car chases in Mexico they're rare like when cops get into a car chase it's rare because 80% of the time They'll call everyone in the city to come after you. You know what I mean? Because they don't have nothing else better to do. So they'll just call like the whole police department on you. You know what I mean? That's how it is right here. But in this video, and we're talking about Tijuana. In this video, it's obvious that these, that this police, um, that these police and the ones involved in this police might not even be on payroll with the cartels. And that is why there, there wasn't that much, um, Cops helping them, but watch in a little bit, and you're gonna see what I'm talking about. No, oh, hold on. Let me put it a little bit back so you guys. So right there, they're like, you know what, it's a wrap. They, they, they threw out a code, 22, 22, code 22, just let them go. There is an obvious understanding here in this video that 
the city of Tijuana has its own mayor, underground mayor. And it's not the mayor that's ruling Tijuana that's in charge. It's the cartel that's, you know, the cartel of Tijuana that rules Tijuana. As you can see from this video, corruption goes way beyond the naked eye can see. Because not only did they laugh at the police department, because this is laughing at the police department. They got away scot-free. We don't know about the bus. But look what happened to the RAV4. He dipped. He's out. He left. His mission was to protect the bus. Now, I don't know what happened, but they split up. For all we know, that bus could have paid that other cop off because there was another little patrol car going after the bus. That bus driver could have paid off the cop. Like, you know what? Leave me alone, bro. I'm, I'm working for the cartel, whatever. You know, either take the money or, or get shot up. And for this driver of the RAV4, well, it's obvious that we can see that he's been, he's been calling people or he's making sure that he gets away free. Or he just has cops on payroll. Federalities on payroll. That's why they got away. In this video, this is a rare video. This is a, re a really rare video where a police is actually recording all this. And I just wanted to share this with you guys because this to me is big news. Thanks for watching on King Dragon Kraken channel. Stay safe and I'll catch you guys later. <laughs>